let's talk about self relationship now what is a self relationship it's with yourself right that's correct the thing is the same object is involved and is used as a lookup in this relationship what does that mean this means you might be a daughter you might be a son if you are a son you will also be a father you'll also be a grandparent someday you'll also be a husband if you are a daughter you might also be a sister you might also be a wife so one person is handling multiple relationships correct are there two versions of you no you are you're just one single person correct similarly an employee can act as an employee but he can also be a manager to other employees make sense so these kind of relationships are of the self relationship type correct the object would be same the employee and the manager would be of the type user object correct they would be of the same object type but every employee looks up to their manager in a self relationship model that's why you have a role hierarchy correct if you go to a user object record you can see that okay you can stamp a manager field on it correct so when you stamp a manager field on it what does that mean that means you are associating one user with another user correct so if i go to users here and if i take a look at my user for example you'll see that this is a user record correct and here i can also tag a manager now manager is of is of what kind of record it's also another user which means i'm tagging a user object record to another user object record what does that mean that means it's a self self relationship okay so if you see it's saying me search for a user i can associate any other user here correct that's a self relationship type i'll quickly also show you how do you create a junction object record right so if you go ahead and say create custom object if you give it a name enrollment and let's say you have two different objects right so what you'll do is you'll create two diff two fields and those two fields should always be master detail why because the junction depends on the relationship of two different two different entities and both of them have to be present which means it creates a master detail correct so i'll just say new and here you get the option to choose the master detail you see master detail and lookup the field is required on all detail pages everything of the child will be determined by the master record whenever the master is deleted all child are automatically deleted you can also create rule up summary pretty much everything that i said okay and if to create a if you want to create a lookup it's plain very simple just link which object you want to link it but for a junction object relationship you have to always create two rec two fields each should be a master detail pointing to one object two different objects like one master detail would point to one object and the other one would point to another object all right so that's master detail lookup junction many to many and self relationship all right i hope so far so good awesome let's now move into another kind of relationship that's a hierarchy relationship now this hierarchy relationship is only true for user and account object okay the self relationship can also be applied to non hierarchy ones this example was more of a hierarchy but don't think that okay this and the other one is same the self relationship can also be let's say you have a a contract right you have one contract one primary contract for the entire year all right so you'll create a contract record and then for every quarter you have to create sub contracts so those sub contracts would come under the same contract record where the the yearly contract would be the parent and the quarterly con contracts would be the children even this is a self relationship because you would essentially create the contract record only you will essentially be creating contract records only you will not create different custom object or different object records so that can also be part of a self relationship however hierarchy relationship is only true for user and account object and this is only because salesforce manages it and salesforce handles it we cannot create a hierarchy relationship on our own per se the example that i just showed you the employee and the manager is an example of a hierarchy relationship right and what is another hierarchy on the account object that's available if you take a look at any account record if i take you through an account record what you will notice is that you have something called a parent account available 
right and you have a tree structure that you can take a look at so if I go to all accounts and if I open let's say Burlington so you see there's this hierarchy option available what this can do is this can tell you Burlington Textiles Corp of America is the current account and you can also see all the children account down below they are currently not available what I can do is I can go and create a new account let's say if I create a new account here so I'll say Burlington China and this would basically point to the America parent account so you see how I am associating the hierarchy relationship both records that the record that I'm creating and the record that exists are both account records same object but you have a hierarchy in concern so if I just say hot type is installation partner ownership is public all is good let's say save and now if I click on Burlington China you will see that this is under Burlington Textiles Corp of America you see the how beautifully you are able to see the hierarchy structure and why is this available here because Salesforce provides you hierarchy relationships for two objects one is for user the other one is for account what is the example I've given here the lead sales representative and a field agent right so you might have a sales rep working on a single lead and you might have a field agent right so the sales rep will take a look at the field agents who are deployed for to to close this particular lead or deal right probably just go to their home and drop a parcel uh, probably go to their office and uh, drop a, a brochure right probably go go to uh, give them a call and uh, uh, arrange a meeting so that the final contract can be decided so what is the hierarchy there the hierarchy is the sales rep is on the call working with the lead and the field agent is actually doing the actual things as guided and assisted by the lead sales representative but what object would be used to handle this either the user object or the account object in this example it is the user object because the field agent is essentially nothing but a user a sales representative is actual human right so that's a user record so that's about hierarchy relationship now that we have understood all the relationship types pretty much uh, the relationships that we'll be looking at writing code for or you know understanding or querying inner inner child or you know uh, outer joints or all of that stuff i hope this sets up the foundation and i want you to take up this quiz that i have right after this slide what i want you to do is i want you to comment below a real life example of these three a master detail relationship give me a real life example think about it and give me a real life example second think of a lookup relationship in real life and give me an example the third is a many to many relationship think of a real life example where a many to many relationship is true how it would how it would make sense in a re reality and give me one example for each that's the ask okay so comment below one example for each and please ensure that it should not be the examples that we discussed okay the examples that we discussed are here it should not be the examples that are here all right so create something of your own and try to comment it below and let's see uh, who gets uh, who gets all the three right and what is the understanding that would be good to know